Alright, so it's down to this, so I'm going to keep this part for my scraps. I put the borders off. And then the next step will be to... Alright, so right now I went ahead and I did the sashing on the top row. So I'm going to try to show you what I did. I've got... kind of hard because I'm kind of holding the camera right now. But I did... I started with the ending, the edge. I did two and a half inch sashing right here. And I sewed one on this side. And then I I didn't sew an extra one. I took this block right here, flipped it over right sides together, and I sewed it along this side, creating the center. And I did the same thing, but I sewed an edging strip to this end this block, flipped it right sides together with this one and sewed it to the sashing strip, added a sashing strip to this side, took this block, folded it right sides together and sewed it again, and then I sewed an edge on here, and you'll notice there's a seam, where is it, there it is, there's a seam right there because I didn't, I, the strip I cut wasn't quite long enough so I had to add a little piece on here but you're gonna take one of your strips and you're gonna put it along the top right sides together and you're gonna go you're gonna sew straight down the top and I did the same thing on the bottom edge I did the same thing took a long strip and a two and a half inch sashing and I sewed it along there and on some of them let me see if I can get this flipped over real quick get flipped over. You'll notice on some I tried pressing them open. It wasn't working so well so I kind of decided okay I'm just gonna press it. It was like this one right here for example. It was tried I tried to press it open. I'm gonna have to repress this one because I had it folded but I had it. I wanted you're just it's your decision, but these I pressed open, but this one kind of closed up on me. I'm going to have to repress them. But try pressing all of your seams to your sashing fabric. So that's my first row, and let me fold it back. But your first row should look something like this when you're done. But I'm going to do, work together, we're going to do the side sashings on the second row, and we'll go from there. Just bear with me. But, see, I went dark Dresden, a light pinwheel, a light Dresden, and the gray pinwheel on mine. Whatever colors you're using for yours, that's great, but this is what I've got so far. And bear with me, I'm going to pause you and we will be right back and I will, we're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to work on the second set and just give you an idea what I did. I went ahead and placed them out how I wanted them. So this is going to be our second set. It's going to start with a light Dresden and I pinned them together once I got them where I want, how I wanted them. So it's going to go Dark Dresden, Light Dresden, Dark Dresden, and a Light Dresden. So we're going to do the second row, which is going to be this set right here. We're going to work on that together. So just bear with me and we'll be right back. Alright, so we went ahead and did that and I went ahead and pressed all my seams on the second one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attach you're going to want to attach your first row to your second row. What I tend to do is I'll flip it, line all my, do my best to line all these up, pin them, and sew them. Once you do that, get each of your rows done, get these sides, the inside sashings done. Then you'll, same thing I explained on this one, you're just going to take a long strip of sashing and you're going to put it across the bottom. Make sure it's a little bit longer than 
row and you're going to sew that on and trim it off to the length and then you're going to do the same thing all the way down and then when we come back I will show you what we've got so far in the next video we will do our borders but bear with me and we will come back and I will once I've got all this done and stitched together and we will have all our sashing done and I will show you the beginning of what the quilt's going to look like all right bear with me all right so we have gotten all of our blocks done if you want a better video of the dresses put a comment in the comment down below and let me know if you want me to do a better Dresden block pattern for you. We've got our pinwheels done. We've got our sashing done. So the next step, if I get to stay in the apartment, is to put our border fabric on. I showed you what the border fabric is. In case you don't remember, I'm going to pull some out and show you. Just give me a second. But I was also, somebody helped me get the backing fabric today, as well as the batting for it. But this cute little fabric right here with the flowers, this is going to be our border fabric. And back to back with this video when it gets posted is going to be what somebody helped me get from Joann's today which I'm very grateful for because it helped me out a lot but that being said in the description today is November 6th my daughter's birthday is on the 10th my birthday is on the 24th the day after Thanksgiving which is Black Friday we don't we're not able to pay the rent this month without helps from you guys and anybody else I have a GoFundMe which I will put in there I will also put the link you know the email attached to the Zell that goes to the account that pays my rent any help would be greatly appreciated it is the giving season do I think anybody's going to give Mm, not really. I'm a nobody. Nobody cares about me. Nobody cares about my visually disabled daughter. Nobody cares about our support animals. They don't care if we end up back in our car. We were in our car for a year and a half. Nobody cared about us then. Why would they care about us now? If you actually have a heart and you would like to change my philosophy on whether or not there are good people out there, who actually will help people like me you can choose to either do the Zelle method and donate the money directly to the account that goes directly to my rent or you can use the GoFundMe link and put money in there for that I would greatly appreciate it anything that would help me to help any of you newbies who, whether you're rich, poor, just want to start and are doing this quilt along with me because as I said I've done a couple of pinwheels but these are the best ones I've ever done I've never done a Dresden plate before this was the first time for me I decided to put them together in a block I've never done sashing before so this was a first for me so Anyway, if you like the video, give me a like, uh, get my finger in there, give me a like, a thumbs up like, give me, smash that, yeah, can't get this thing to figure it out, mm, where's my finger, where's my finger, smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. I'm aiming to try to get videos up, whether it be sewing, like qu the quilting that we're doing now, crochet, because I have some ideas for some crochet projects. 
uh, knitting, bead weaving. I, mean, I actually want to play with some basket weaving. I think that would be really cool. I want to try that. But anyway, I am going to tell you, and I'm holding the camera so I can't use two hands this time, but if anyone ever tells you that you are not worth it, honey, don't listen to them because you most definitely are. 